All right, thanks, Dan. We'll check back with you. Scientists at the Florida Aquarium have an extra reason to celebrate this Earth Day. That's right. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler tonight showing us they've made history on this special day. Inside this greenhouse, marine biologist Emily Williams is hoping to save Florida's precious coral reefs. I love coral reefs just for their intrinsic value and the fact that they're amazing animals, but it's important to, to all of us. Williams and the rest of the team from Florida Aquarium say they are first in the world to reproduce ridged cactus coral in a lab, and it happened on video. They've had success growing other species of coral and planting them in the ocean near the Florida Keys. It's crucial work because scientists say the warming of oceans and disease have led to the loss of 90% of Florida's coral reef. People coming to see our beautiful reefs and fishing for the fish that live in our waters, they all depend on the health of our coral reefs. While many have visited the Florida Aquarium in downtown Tampa, this facility in Apollo Beach is where the research happens. This is the behind the scenes work. When you visit the aquarium, 100% of your ticket uh, goes to our research and conservation efforts. Scientists here say reproduction of coral has long been a mystery, but they are learning and now celebrating. We get really excited. There's a lot of screaming and laughing and taking pictures. Uh, it's a little bit different because of you know, coronavirus and quarantine. Not all of our team is here. The new corals will continue to grow here and could be transplanted into the ocean in about a year. In Apollo Beach, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.